Hi guys, uh, this is Wissam. In this video, I'm going to review Anki Droid, which is a client for using Anki software on the Android platform. Anki is a software that lets you study flashcards in a smart way. It basically lets you create or download uh, decks of flashcards and then you can review the flashcards uh, in a smart way. It basically let you review the cards just uh, before you are likely to forget them and it is a nice way to organize any uh, material so if you are preparing for a language test or uh, an exam you can use Anki uh, to help you be prepared so here you can see I have an HTC um, Android phone it's the Evo 4G from Sprint and uh, I have gingerbread installed so Anki Droid you can see it here it's available on the market uh, for free so you can just go ahead and download it uh, if you click on it it's gonna show you uh, uh, one of the decks loaded in this example this is the amino acid deck uh, before I go into the details let's go and, and see uh, all the decks and here you can see uh, all the list of the available decks that I'm studying so if you want to download a deck you can start by going to menu uh, download deck you have two options here let's go to shared deck and here you see all the available decks uh, uh, that people created and shared with everyone so this is what makes uh, Anki awesome is that you already have so many decks that people have created and you can go to search and say like for example uh, Latin and then you can see all the available uh, Latin decks you can go and say uh, Japanese oops Japanese and then you have a list of all the available Japanese decks so once you click on one of them you can basically get this deck downloaded below the deck name you see the number of facts facts here represent the number of flashcards available so the smart.fm has 200 random Japanese vocab 129 and so forth let's click back and let's review one of the decks so here I have all kanji for JLPT4 or basically um, Japanese language proficiency test level 4 I click on it and then I see the deck showing up you see the reviews do so I have 62 uh, cards that I need to review basically I have not been studying for the last few days and the estimated time as well uh, start reviewing basically let you go and start reviewing um, the decks so here I click on it and then I see this kanji in red the on reading the kun reading uma which means basically noon so again this is noon the Chinese zodiac so different meanings and at the bottom if you look carefully you see uh, four options so if I didn't know that card I click again it's gonna show it up soon uh, if you basically maybe manage to remember some of the information you hit good if it was easy it uh, Anki is gonna show you that card again in five days very easy in nine days and the benefit of reviewing any subject or any flashcards using Anki is basically if you know some of the flashcards very well you don't need to review them as much as the harder ones so Anki will focus on reviewing the hard cards more often basically to let you master the material so it it manages to save you time and energy when studying a language the other thing is that um, according to research uh, after 75 percent or after two days um, you forget about 75 percent of the material you studied so there is really a, a need for a good way to study and I'm gonna hit for example good uh, here and then I have another um, example this is wet which means above or top okay very easy this kanji means right Migi. again I'm gonna show it up as maybe very easy and so forth so let's hit back you can also do a night mode so if you are um, studying at night you don't want to see the white screen 
there's an option for that you hit review and again it makes the background black uh, the card browser basically lists all the available cards here so as you can see we have so many cards in this deck uh, you can also limit how you study by either the session so you can say I want to study only for 10 minutes or maybe by questions like 10 questions and you have also other options here uh, you can also do a statistic so if you want to learn how much you are studying or like uh, how well you are doing you can go and generate like uh, maybe a report and here you can see the young cards, the mature cards, and the failed cards. I'm not going to go into all the details, but this can be of interest to people who are doing maybe research and want to use Kanji at the university. So you can get this information and see how the students are performing on a test. Uh, the idea is that I want to use this for a research subject. So I teach radiology at the university, and I thought I can use Anki to evaluate students uh, learning performance so hopefully we will get this done this semester you can also uh, hit the menu and hit the sync button which basically uh, gonna go ahead and sync the deck uh, with the cloud so when you go to your PC and you want to continue studying you can pick up from where you left you can also uh, hit on study options so how you want to review the cards you can either review them by the order added, or by random order, or by the reverse order added. This can be um, good if you are studying, for example, um, an SAT or GRE, English language test. So instead of doing it alphabetically, where basically you're going to get all A, 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 B, 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 C, 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 you're going to hit random order and you're going to get words with different alphabets. Uh, and then you can also determine how many cards you want to study per day and other options. Uh, suspend leeches, basically if there is a card that you are stuck with and it is so hard for you, you want to hit suspend leech to basically take that card and hide it because it's wasting so much time. Uh, usually I would go ahead and maybe leave the other options the way they are. Um, and then you can go ahead and hit preferences and the preferences I see I have different options so uh, I have general under general you can determine the language that Anki starts with so you have different localization that people did you can also go to startup mode so if you want to start for example on the study options or if you want to start on the deck that you left last time you can show that or show the deck picker to select the deck before you start studying. You have also um, fetch media on sync. Basically, uh, if you have um, pictures, audio associated with a deck, when Anki downloads the deck, it's going to download the missing media when syncing. Uh, you can go to display. Uh, you want to review in full screen and there you have different uh, options so you can have a progress bar provide ruby and notation if you are studying Japanese and you see a Chinese character or a kanji the ruby and notation basically will take the kanji and decode it and give you the hiragana reading uh, extras you can show a whiteboard if you want to draw on the screen you can play sounds, you can do all sorts of things. Um, uh, you can also enable gestures if you want to use your um, finger to swipe up or down. Uh, what I do, uh, usually I enable the zoom option. So if I have um, a picture and I want to zoom to have a better look, I can do that by enabling this option. You can go to a widget. So if you have a widget on your um, screen, you can basically uh, have that widget vibrate or blinking the LED LED when you have 25 cards to review or more. 
So Anki is very flexible. It has so many options, um, as you can see. Let's go and review some of the other decks just to show you what you can do. So again, I will go back. Uh, this is one of the decks that people sent me. Um, this is an Arabic vocabulary test. So this is Al Maktaba Al Amma, which means public library. Again, as you can see, I have it displayed, so I can say, well, this was uh, very easy. I have also Mujtama or Mujtama'at, which means societies or a society. Um, let me disable this option. Again, I'm going to go back. Uh, I used a, a cool software to create a deck out of an anime uh, from Full Metal Alchemist to Brotherhood. And that software basically uh, takes the anime and determine the start and end of each, the Japanese subtitle, the English subtitle, and then it takes a screenshot, the audio, put the Japanese subtitle as the question and the English subtitle as the answer. This is really cool. So just to show you an example of how the deck looks like, you're going to hit start review. Then I can hit play again. Mijinku Saizu. So again, you are not bigger than a flea. So it's a, it's a funny anime. Um, I like it so much. So can say this was maybe good. So Matagakode, I don't know the rest. So reading a book, something like that at the school. Okay, so yeah, you are reading your book in the school again. Um, and I hit maybe good, so it's gonna show you that and. 11 hours, so it's maybe getting too much. So let's go back. So just to show you an example of how you can use Anki, um, this is not covering all the uh, features of Anki. I'm sure if you go and, and play with it, I'm sure you're gonna um, have other uses for it. But just I wanted to share my experience with you because I feel it really helped me uh, study Japanese and preparing for the board's exam. So again, uh, feel free to uh, download it from the app. Um, if you like the software, feel uh, free to go ahead and donate to Damien who created the uh, uh, Anki and who is also maintaining the iPhone version. Uh, please, if you have any feedback or a comment uh, about the feature, come to Anki Droid uh, Google Group. Uh, you have the developers there and the people who are interested in Anki sharing their thoughts and um, their opinion and maybe testing. So feel free to come and join us. Uh, Anki is a great software. I love it so much and I'm sure you're going to like it uh, as well.